Hi, I'm Michael Jenkins. Um, I'm the chef of Butter Restaurant, uh, Lola Taverna in Little Prince. I've been working for, the, for Butter for a very long time. I grew up in the Midwest, and I've been in New York for the last uh, 16 years or so. And my mother likes to say that I, I, I learned to cook uh, out of self-defense because I, I worked for a single working mom. Uh, and like, you know, we ate, food was plentiful, but it was not good food. My mom does not know how to cook. Uh, and so I, I, I picked up a few books and I uh, started falling in love with it. And uh, eventually I discovered that like, I wasn't really interested in other things, you know? So I made the big move to New York. You know, if you can make it here, you can make it anywhere, whatever they say. So I'm going to start by grinding the uh, prosciutto, which is going to be at the very base of my uh, recipe. I slice from like the meatiest part of this side of the chuck and then turn that into a big fat dice. Part of the reason why this is like a fun recipe for like any home cook is that your knife skills don't really matter. Like as long as everything's small enough to fit through the meat grinder, you're okay. All right. so. To add to the luxuriousness of this uh, ragu, I'm using a little bit of barely cooked bone marrow instead of uh, olive oil to get this recipe started. So there we go. Like I said, a very, very healthy, lean recipe. Immediately, it already smells like beefy, beefy, beefy. I'm gonna add that ground prosciutto. It's gonna melt away to almost nothing. It's also creating that beautiful fond at the bottom of the uh, pan. Now, all the vegetables. Garlic, fennel, carrot, celery, and onion. So next I'm gonna add my tomato paste. Now that this is at like a nice sizzle, the vegetables are uh, slightly cooked and translucent, I'm using double concentrated tomato paste. This is the sweetness, this is the acid. Really cook the tomato paste. Now that the tomato paste is caramelized, I'm gonna add my aromatics. So chopped thyme, chopped rosemary, some lightly crushed fennel seed, and a little red pepper flake so that it's not boring. Now for the beef. so wonderfully fatty that it's gonna turn white instead of gray as we start to cook it. Now I'm gonna deglaze the little red wine. Not a lot. And now the secret weapon. We made a little bit of beef stock. This one happens to be uh, made from veal bone and a little bit of Wagyu beef bone. So the last step, you're gonna take your ragu that's now been simmering, and we're gonna add a splash of milk a little bit of aged balsamic. Cook the pasta to your preferred al dente. All right. Let the pasta really get to know the sauce. Let some of that starch emulsify with the uh, ragu. Just a little bit of cheese. Like the garlic, you really want to take it easy on the cheese, because don't worry, we'll put more on top afterwards. Approachable peasant recipe, but it's been elevated by the use of uh, bone marrow and this like amazing high quality Wagyu beef. So the theme is like luxury meets uh, simplicity. I would recommend for people that want to use, eat Wagyu for the first time, um, try my recipe. It's, you're just going to notice an extremely, extremely tender, luxurious, flavorful sauce on your pasta. Super approachable, anybody can go for it. And if you're truly a meat lover, which chances are you, you, you appreciate beef, um, if you're willing to buy some of this like quality product, um, I would recommend salt 
and pepper seared in a pan, roast in the oven. Um, don't do too much. You really want to taste the beef and you don't need to do a lot to this beef uh, to get a, a ton of flavor.